Lag putting. Yeah, so, I mean, this is where a lot of guys hit the ball most of the time on the green, you know, the average player. I mean, if they're on the green, they have, they have these long putts. And I think even for, for us, I mean, it would be great to make it. But the idea is not to have any work left, Something you know, close, coming in. Yeah. So speed's really important. This is a downhill, pretty big breaking. So I like to try to figure out where the center of the hole is. So from this angle, coming in. almost, you know, around 3 o'clock there. Almost, yeah, it's almost you know, that way. In yeah. Between 3 and 4 o'clock. And so that's where I look as a center hole, and it kind of helps me figure out how helps much you to get play. over yeah. there, yeah. Because I got I know it's got to be coming in at that angle, so that kind of helps me figure out where the break is. Yep. But it's the same thing, even with even with a long and short putt, just like chipping, I try to same speed Full back, motion. same speed through, and the ball yep. just gets in the way. And you're, you know, you lift the putter off the ground, just like you said today, where you get that real easy stroke coming away from it. Yeah. That's, so that, I mean, that's what you're looking for right happy. there. Yeah, yeah, no work no work left at all. You seem very content um, with sort of, uh, I don't want to say, it's the wrong word. Uh, you, you're sort of like, that's good enough for me. You, you, in your whole game, you're like, that'll do me. Well, I just, I... I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm very strategic in how I play the game. And you know what, I, I've talked with, on the mental side of the game, some people, and we say, you know, Say you go out and shoot 66. How many bad shots do you think you can hit in a round? Probably 66? not too many. No, three, four, five. Yeah. Somewhere around there. So you know what? You go hit a bad one. It's no big deal. You know what? I still got a couple more that are probably going to happen. I can still play a great round of golf. Sure. But, you know, I, I, I look at every single, every single shot and just figure out what's the best way to play this one. And for this one, I mean, it's not one. I mean, you know what? If you make one out of 10, one out of 20, I mean, yeah, you're fine is, with it. This is not it's a, a hard putt. This is a, this is a really good two-putt yeah. right and here. And so if it goes in, it's, it's a bonus. But... You two putt and get out. You're you're very very happy. Speed's obviously the most important thing in lag putting. That and you know getting the idea, the read right, right? Yeah. Getting the read. You got the read right. You were twice, make the next one, you? twice as good as the last yeah. one. <laughs> so next one's got to be close. Yeah, for sure. I mean, in 18 holes, I mean, if you have, as far as putting. If you have nine looks inside of you know twenty feet, you're, you're you're probably playing a great round of golf. Yeah. And so those other nine, you just got to figure out how not to butcher them and three putt. I mean, mm -hmm. three putt avoidance is a I think a very big stat that people gets overlooked. Absolutely. I was maybe not the greatest putter when I played in my career, but I was a really good lag putter. So I never, I never feared three putting. You know what I mean? Of course. And I'll say like, when you I come always used to say to my caddy, I said I can I can lag it. Uh, you got it. A little bit. Got better each time, better right? Better each time. That's right. What a quick learner.